O God, come to my assistance. of the Tuesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time, Year 1, read by Mrs. Aurelia Sika Chible and commented by Rev. Father Robert Tienkwap of the Society of the African Missions. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Jonah, chapter 3. Verse 1 to 10. The word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, three days' journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey, and he cried, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least of them. Then tidings reached the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, removed his robe, and covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes, and he made proclamation and published through Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, let neither man nor beast, head nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed or drink water. But let man, and yes, let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence which is in his hands. Who knows, God may yet repent and turn from his fierce anger so that we may perish not. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way. God repented of the evil which he had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Our response shall be, if you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? Out of the death I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, 
should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? For with the Lord there is mercy, in him is plentiful redemption. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? Gospel Acclamation Blessed are those who fear the word of God and keep it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our gospel reading of today presents us the unrestless mind of Martha over the attitude of her sister Mary, who seems not to be bothered about the physical material preparation of welcoming their visitor, but carried away by the beautiful presence and teaching of Christ. Because we are told in the gospel that Mary sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. It has always been a debate over faith and work, which one comes first. And today we see Jesus taking the side of faith, taking the side of Mary. He even went on to tell Martha, Martha, why are you anxious and troubled about many things? One thing is needful. Looking carefully at the words of Jesus to Martha, Jesus was not condemning Martha for her work and sacrifice, especially to make him comfortable in her house. Rather, Jesus was fighting against her state of anxiousness, worries over so many things, and forgetting what is more important in the sight of God. Indeed, we cannot separate faith and good works. Neither can we separate the listening of the word of God and doing the word of God. We all need the two. We all need the attitude of Mary, who is open to listening to the word of God with all her heart in order to gain more wisdom, and that of Martha, who was put into practice the word of God, being open, being hospitable to those who she comes in contact with, like the case of her visitor. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Sometimes in witnessing to Christ, we often fall into the two extremes. Either we are carried away like Martha in doing so many and forgetting the place of the word of God, or sometimes we become more spiritual minded that we forget what is expected of us, the physical and the material work that we are supposed to render to our family, our loved ones and humanity. We have Christians today because of their commitment to the church, they forget that their family too is important. The training of their children too is important. We have other groups of Christians too, because of their work, they hardly find time also to pray, to listen to the word of God. They don't have time again for God in their schedule. And yet, they say they are working for God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, one thing is needful of us all. We must all learn to reconcile our words and action in one direction. Our words and action must all have their roots and foundation in Christ. God has to be seen in our actions. God has to take absolute control of our persons. 
we must not be troubled or anxious about so many things that not that does not matter. We must worry more about our personal spiritual growth. We must learn to confide all our worries, struggles to God, who is always willing to listen to our plight. Indeed, one thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion. We shall not be taken away from her. My brothers and sisters in Christ, until our faith is well built on Christ, we will always be at risk of losing our lives to wrong teachings, false prophets, anxieties, worries, and unhealthy friendship. Let us pray for the grace to be fame like Mary in our passion for the word of God, so that nothing can take away our joy of serving Christ through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Suivez désormais sur vos smartphones et ordinateurs toutes les actualités de l'Église catholique en Afrique et dans le monde entier sur SMA Togo TV. Le Samaritain aujourd'hui, on ne l'a pas, mais c'est nous qui sommes les Samaritains. Nous devons suivre l'exemple de Jésus sur cette terre. C'est le coup de la parole, l'opportunité d'être en communion avec le Christ. SMA Togo TV est accessible 24 heures sur 24 en direct sur le www.smatogo.tv, YouTube, SMA Togo TV, Facebook, SMA Togo TV. Téléchargez l'application SMA Togo TV dans Play Store. Foi, éducation, santé, société, développement, entrepreneuriat, humour et sport, tout est passé au peigne fin sur votre web TV. SMA Togo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire. Thank you.